Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Gemini. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini, please and thank you. I believe that's the Hermit card and the Death card, yes. So we have the Hermit card and the Death card. Virgo energy and um, Scorpio energy. Nine of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Worry. I'm hearing, I'm hearing anguish. Eight of Swords right behind the Nine of Swords. So self-imposed imprisonment that has led to some type of worry and anxiety, okay? Um, maybe building and working with someone. Maybe or maybe not. Or working on yourself. Becoming better. But the Hermit card is you uh, taking some time alone. Taking some time. And yeah. In, in prayer and meditation because there are some changes and transformations that are happening in your life you feel like um you don't feel the same way about things you don't yeah you don't see things the way you used to see them we have mm -hmm, two of wands ready to take a different approach on things that you used to hold on to the way you used to offer what you used to accept all right um more messages here for the sign of gemini you're creating boundaries towards energies that you do not want. That's why you're in hermit mode. That's why people are looking for you and they feel like they've been blocked. Wait, here we are. So we also have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, self-love. That's what you're focused on right now. Caring for yourself, loving on yourself, um, going after things that you want in life that you desire that makes you happy the 12 cups here at the bottom of the deck it could be a connection a relationship that you recently walked away from i feel mm -hmm. you may have walked away from an aries leo sagittarius energy um something where it was just about passion more messages we have the moon card facing fears cancer energy pisces and then we have the chariot right cancer energy yeah clearing out some fears i don't know what you are, were afraid of i think you you're actually reflecting on things that sh that may have been keeping you away from the success that you truly want um you're recognizing that within loving yourself there was some fears that were creating the blockages that caused some type of uh, maybe chaos in your life things that you didn't want it was like things that what you were attracting that you didn't that you truly didn't want um, so now you're clearing out those old ways we have the emperor card divine masculine energy um aries taurus the king of wands is at the bottom of the day yeah this is someone bossing up manning up womaning up however you want to say it the strength card Rece receiving the strength and courage to fight to compete to do what you have to do in order to succeed to to level up to take control of your life let me see one more card There you are. Decisions. Thinking clearly. Mind over matter. Not really emotional right now. Well, at least towards others, right? The Three of Cups is maybe coming together with another individual or with friends and family members, making things right, making amends. What's the uh, Hermit card? the five of wands so it was people that were around you that you don't want to be involved with or you're 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 meditating on some type of force you might have to put into a situation to progress to move forward oh give me a second it's actually like i was talking about you letting go of some people some energies um people who may have been competing with you for whatever odd reason um i mean there is some type of healthy competition but it wasn't i don't think it was healthy for self-preservation 
So something was coming, maybe becoming over competitive. And you had to start creating some boundaries towards this energy. Or it was just a lot of fight within yourself for whatever our reason. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here where things are changing and things become, uh, you start moving forward towards that success and stability that you're looking for. So uh, what's the death card? The four of pentacles holding on. What used to be given to you or... Oh, this is someone recognizing that they have been given freely, too freely to others. You may have been um, given more than what others have been given to you or learning how to let go, learning how to give and receive. I feel like someone may have been holding back their emotions, their feelings, turning back to source, turning back to love. What's the... Two of Wands. Can I have the Two of Wands, please? And thank you. Oh, someone's returning? Doesn't want to walk away. Eight of Cups. It was, a, it was a point in time when you didn't want to walk away from a person, a situation, or whatever was going on. Because there maybe it was some type of codependent energy. And now um, you're trying to get towards that independence. <laughs> but at a point in time, you just didn't want to walk away from whatever you... You had going on maybe a masculine energy that you were involved with or maybe you were just attached to something or someone that just needed some type of change but you feared that change so you avoided walking away and now you realize that you have to walk away from a situation you have to take a different approach because something has been blocking whatever your independence your uh, decision making the seven of wands we have the six of swords yeah you moving on creating the blockages and, and actually moving on instead of holding back. Yep, their source with the higher thing. Trying to get you to open up to new things. What's the Ace of Cups? The Ten of Cups. Beautiful. The Ace of Cups that turns into the Ten of Cups. You taking those steps to get to that wish fulfillment. You controlling your emotions. You take you closing some type of um cycle. You um staying focused on your happiness, on your, um, something about closure. What's the moon card? Creating closure for something. I don't know. Uh, maybe with somebody in your family. The nine of swords. Worry, doubt. Yeah, something you were afraid of. You had to work on yourself. Work on fears. Work on facing fears. Work on letting go because you fear to let go of something. And having to do something on your own. What's the emperor? The ten of wands. So, burdens. Um, carrying a heavy load. The full card at the bottom of the deck. Sample a brand new beginning. Being taken care of. I don't know what that's about. Something about someone being taken care of. Or tired of taking care of. Or What's the king of swords? The eight of wands. Someone knows it's time to move on. Even though you, like I said, you felt like you didn't, you, you felt like you didn't want to, you were afraid, or whatever type of type, or whatever type of change, but there's a knowing that you have to do what you have to do. Um, control your, emo your emotions, be grown about the situation or whatever. What's the eight of cups in reverse? The devil. Yeah, that's the, the attachment and try to keep you in this situation and this connection, feeling like, oh, that's my soulmate. Oh, this is the person that I need to be with. Oh, we may have, we have children together or something like that. It seems like a person always end, ends up feeling like they were the one who messed up, they were lied to or something like that. What's the devil card? Could be a Capricorn here. The hangman. Yes, time to gain perspective about this situation that you didn't want to give up on. There's the tower. Boom. Time to manifest something new. Well, the tower has been manifested. Maybe because of a certain individual. There was the Sagittarius energy. What is the uh, Hank man? The justice card. Yeah, the just, yeah. The justice in this situation is you walking away towards a brand new beginning. You scoping out something new. You making better choices for yourself and everyone involved. There you are. What's the justice? 
Libra energy. The Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. The justice for relationships of the past. The justice for walking away from whatever relationship of the past. Walking away from the same type of relationships that you dealt with in the past that may have been harmful to you and your emotions and your energy and everything like that. And here's the change. Change that you may have been waiting on, waiting for. Um, yeah, you, you try not to walk away because you feel like this is your person. This is the one who you connect with. But I feel like someone knows that it's time to move on, Gemini. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. We're going to get a message from the uh, one of these Oracle decks. We're going to do the light work Oracle, yes. But I do want to do the Sacred Destiny deck first. All right, what do you have for the sign of Gemini? All right. Going forward is what fail, which is you moving forward out of this situation. Love and happiness is what you deserve and success. Or ask this question. Are you receiving? Are you receiving the love and happiness that you deserve in this relationship or in this situation or a situationship? Whatever is going on, or is it time to move forward? That's up to you. What else do you have for the sign of Gemini, please? And thank you. An invitation? Yes, an invitation to connect. Open up to source. Oh, bottom of the deck is what? Karmic clearing. So clearing out that karmic relationship, situation ship thing that's going on over there. Um, let's read this though. All right. So number 19. It says Love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. Forward. Oh, so we have another move forward. Forward. Going forward. It's time to move forward. <laughs> Unlike those who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open, receptive heart. Beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and help the planet. So you are you you are offered no excuse me. So you are being offered an invitation to connect. So here's the invitation: as a member of the human race, through my own free will and for the greatest good, I call upon all beings that resonate with the quality of unconditional love, and wish to assist humanity and Earth to to evolve on the path of divine love. I ask for the unconditionally loving ascended masters that serve Christ consciousness to be the gateway through which permission is confirmed for these beings to enter Earth's field and assist humanity according to divine will, grace, and love. May all beings be happy and free. So be it. Okay? It's source wants you to reconnect with the Christ consciousness. Okay? Um, to, to source, period. To the divine. All right? And... Um, Some of you guys just been blocking out that energy of love, that energy of being open to love and sharing your love out with others. And um, you, you're afraid of what's going to happen next and letting go of this one situation, letting go of who, this, whatever was going on, clearing out that old karma and moving on to something brand new in life, something that that's better suited for you. So, Gemini, I'm going to leave that here. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down, down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.